All right, so before we begin, please, I want each and every one of you to just go to the chat area and type in uh, where you're coming from, all right? Your name and the town or the region which you are located. I just want us to do this very, very quick exercise, all right? Just go to the chat area, look below your screen. You're going to see a button known as chat. You just click on that chat and you'll be able to type in information. This is going to be an interactive class, it's going to be an interactive session, and I want each and every one of you to actually participate. So please make sure you go to the chat area and type in your region of origin because I know each and every one of you here are from Cameroon. This particular training was meant for um, those who are in Cameroon. So please just do that as fast as possible. All right, we have um, Alain. Alain say he's from Cameroon. Where precisely from Cameroon, Alain? We have Ndoki Derek Nja, um, who is from Yaoundé. All right, uh, Derek is an advanced, he's actually, he's actually completing the digital marketing expert program with the Group Institute. We are welcome for this uh, orientation program. We have Paul Shemka Kumbo in the Northwest region. And I think, I think uh, uh, Paul Shemka is actually taking the advanced, uh, the, actually taking the graphic design advanced program. We have Mr. Jumi Marvin from the Northwest region of Cameroon. Um, that is the CEO of CPEP. All right, you're welcome. And we have Fokam Gael from Douala, equally a graphic design masterclass student. We have Alain from Northwest, all right. We have Collins, Cameroonian, Northwest region in the Balikumba subdivision. All right, you're welcome, Mr. Collins. All right, you all are welcome. So as we keep up, as we kick off with this program, others are going to be joining us and we are really going to, it's going to be an exciting program. All right, it's going to be an exciting orientation. All right, before, we always, before I always begin a training like this, I always ask this question, what is digital marketing? All right. So many of you have heard about the word digital marketing. You've heard about digital space. You've heard so many things about just the word digital. All right. So there are many uh, digital uh, fields, many digital uh, departments, but today we're going to be talking about um, digital in terms of marketing, which is digital marketing. So what is digital marketing? I'm going to give this to you all. Just go to the chat area, type in what you know about digital marketing. What is digital marketing? Just go to the chat area. Whatever you think is digital marketing, just go below and type in what you think. Now, I'm going to, this 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 assignment or this, this question goes to everyone except the students who are actually taking the advanced digital marketing program. All right, because we have some of them with us right now. So if you are taking the advanced digital marketing program, then this question is not for you. This question is for those who are attending this training for uh, the very first time, or those who are anticipating to become digital marketing experts. All right, please, each and every one of you should mute your mics. All right, make sure your mics are muted at every time. All right, like Mr. Paul Shemka, your mic is always on. Collins, your mic is on. Please make sure you mute your mic so that we can really have a flow of this class so we shouldn't be having some interruptions. Thank you very much. What is digital marketing? I'm going to chat area. Was mute, no? What is digital marketing? If you want to answer, you can raise up your hand in the chat. Just go to emojis, they raise up your hand. And if you want to actually speak out, then we're going to give an opportunity to speak out. But if you want to go to, you want to give us this answer using the chat area, just go to the chat area and type in what you understand by digital marketing. I'm still waiting. Guys, come on, come on. You must have heard about this word before. Just given what you understand by digital markets. Right. We have, um, let me see, this should be 
Allen, all right. Allen says digital marketing is the component of marketing which we use the internet to promote and advertise products. Great. Um, Siddiq says, I think digital marketing is all about e-commerce. Great. Paul Shemka says, um, it is a process of using the internet to advertise the product and services of a business enterprise to a targeted audience for the purpose uh, for the purpose is maximizing sales of the product and services. Perfect. Now, the definitions which you guys have given are perfect, all right? So long as the word internet is there and the word awareness or the purpose of sales is in that definition, then you've actually given a great definition for digital marketing. So digital marketing is simply what? It's simply the use of the internet to advertise your product, not necessarily sales, all right? Once you're able to create awareness, once you're able to create advertisement, then that is digital marketing. Once you've been able to create awareness uh, sales using the internet, then you've actually created, you've actually done what we call digital marketing. Ajun Marvin says it is a marketing strategy using the internet to promote a brand and customer awareness. Perfect. Um, guys, uh, digital marketing is the promotion of brands to connect with potential customers using the internet and digital. Perfect. All right. Once the word advertisement or awareness and the word internet is part of our definition, then you've actually given the great definition of digital marketing. Fondo says digital marketing is, a, is the component of marketing that uses the internet and online based digital technologies such as desktop computers, mobile phones, and other digital media and the platform to promote products and services. Perfect. Now, in our day to day life, we've actually been carrying out digital marketing, all right? We might not know that that is actually digital marketing, but we are actually carrying out digital marketing. If you're able to use your smartphone to advertise products on your WhatsApp status, to advertise products on Facebook, to advertise products on all the social media platforms, then you are actually carrying out digital marketing, all right? That is what we call digital marketing. Now, there are two types of marketing. We have the traditional marketing and the digital marketing. The traditional marketing is the process whereby we actually advertise our products using the traditional way, such as designing posters, flyers, all right? When you design posters and flyers, you throw them around, you go to the media, all right? TV stations, you go to radio stations, and you give this announcement to them, all right? Once they're able to broadcast this announcement, that is what we call the traditional way of doing advertisement. You are not using the internet to do an advertisement. You're using a particular media. All right. So you can actually design banners. All right. You can design posters. You can design sign posts. All right. Those are all traditional ways of doing uh, marketing. All right. So today we are going to be focusing on the digital aspect of marketing, not the traditional aspect of marketing, because the traditional aspect of marketing is gradually getting out of the market. All right. It's gradually getting out of the market. There are people now that they don't need to create design posters or flyers to actually carry out digital, to actually carry out marketing. In developed countries now, if they, if they catch you carrying, uh, um, arranging, um, let's say designing flyers, posters and throwing them around, they think you're, you're already causing nuisance in the society, all right? You are polluting the environment. So you are polluting the environment, you are throwing papers around, which is what, dead. It's just like dead, you are dating, you are littering the environment, which is not permitted. So, so many companies have decided now to get into the digital aspect of marketing. If you look at companies like Amazon, if you look at companies like eBay, if you look at companies like Tesla, companies like Microsoft, all these companies are into digital marketing 100%. When I say 100%, I mean 100%. They don't go to uh, maybe media to advertise their product, you can only hear about a product on media when maybe there is, they are talking about a particular program and you just hear they mention that particular product, but they did not actually go to the media and pay. It's very difficult for you to watch your TV and you're able to see um, maybe they are advertising Amazon products. Very, very difficult. All right. That's because they have decided to get its work 100% digital marketing. Now, in the less developed countries, such as Cameroon, Nigeria, especially in African countries, all right? Digital marketing has not yet been absorbed. In fact, not up to 30% of companies in these countries are, have actually embraced digital marketing. That's the reason why when we have our petite businesses, we are only confined in the environment which we are located. 
For example, if you have your shop where you sell maybe building materials, you're only confined in that environment. If you are in Bamenda, maybe just in Mancon and you have a shop there, maybe only people in your locality can actually come to your shop to buy. Those who are in other areas like Queen, uh, Minan Queen, they will not know about your product if they don't come there to visit or if they don't hear about it on the radio, all right? But I can be in my small home, all right, with my smartphone, and I have maybe some of my products that I want to sell, and I can explode the information to everybody in Bamenda. Everyone in Bamenda will actually know that I am actually selling this particular product without necessarily opening a shop, all right, without necessarily printing flyers and throwing them around. Once I'm able to have the tools necessary, I can actually carry out what we call digital marketing and I advertise my product. That is all about digital marketing. When you hear about digital marketing, that's just what digital marketing is all about. Now, our main purpose for this training is to be able to give you um, digital marketing in a way that you can actually take it as a career. Now, we have a lot of trainers who train you on digital marketing, maybe just to support your petty business, all right, just to give you a glimpse about your business, just to help you push your business to that level. But that's not our main objective of this particular training. The main objective of this particular training is to enable you understand what digital marketing is all about, get the practical aspect of digital marketing and be able to work in very big companies, big corporations, all right? Because at the end of the program, you should be able to get a certification that can take you to that level. All right, now let's talk about digital marketing. You've heard about digital marketing. People have been talking about digital marketing. Um, maybe they have invited you for a seminar or a conference that are talking about digital marketing and just give you a glimpse of digital marketing. So today we are going to be looking at the various aspects of digital marketing and how it is broken down, all right? So digital marketing is divided into three major modules. So if you want to call yourself a certified digital marketer, then you must understand these three different modules. There are three different modules but I decided to break them down into four different modules because one of the modules is very, very big. And I saw an aspect of that module that can stand on its own without, um, that you can build a career on, on that particular module without necessarily knowing the other module. That's the reason why I decided to break it down into four, but there are three major modules. Now, before I get into the modules, now let me just bring up, um, some things which you've seen as far as digital marketing is concerned, but you've not actually known that this is digital marketing, or you've not actually known that these things are being created by digital marketing experts. Now, I'm just going to go to my browser. I'm going to share my screen right now. All right, great. I've just shared my screen. I'm going to go to my browser. Let me go to this one. All right. Now, I'm just going to go to google.com. Now, if someone wants to buy a product, all right, for example, if I'm here in the United Arab Emirates and I want to get a product, let's say I want to buy a smartphone, all right, or I want to rent an apartment, or I want to rent a car, what I'll do is I'll just go to the internet type that particular search term, type that particular word or what I actually want on the internet. And I'll be able to get variety of options where I can get that particular product or service. Let's take an example. Let's say I want to buy an iPhone 10 or let's say I want to buy a Samsung Galaxy. Let's say Samsung. Let's say I want to buy Samsung Galaxy 22 Ultra, for example. Now, if I type this particular product, Samsung Galaxy uh, 22 Ultra. I'm going to get the variety of companies that actually want to sell this product. There are so many companies that will be willing to sell this product, all right? So we have Samsung itself. They have this product. I can get this particular product from Samsung. I can get this particular product from another company known as Jumbo. I can get this particular product from another a company known as Blooming Dabs, all right? 
bloomingdallas.ae, that's the United Arab Emirates. I can get this particular product from another company known as Eros.ae. Now, all these are what e commerce companies that are offering this same service. All right, so whatever you see on the internet, whatever you see on a search engine, just know that any information that is found on a search engine has been made possible by a digital marketing expert. So when you see this advertisement here, know that it has been done by a digital marketing expert. It's a digital marketing expert that has been able to type everything you see here, pre-order Galaxy S22 Ultra, give what this is, all right? All these informations that you see on Google search engines, they are being done by digital marketing experts. Now, when we talk about the various modules, when it comes to digital marketing, we have Google Ads, we have social media marketing, we have SEO, all right? Those are the three major modules. Now, if I search for Samsung Galaxy S22, these are the options which I've gotten, all right? Now, if you look carefully, look at this particular option very well, look at your screen very well, all right? You're going to notice that beside this website, www.samsung.com, just on the left side, you're going to see what? ADS, all right? You're going to see ADS. If I go to the next, you're going to see AD. You're going to the next, you're going to see AD. If I go to the next, you're going to see AD. Even by the side, you're going to see what? ADS. Now, what does this AD or ADS mean? It means what? Advertisement, or it means art, all right? Art means advertising or advertisement. All right. It therefore means that this company has created an advertisement and it has been placed on the Google search engine. All right. When you look at this AD, 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 this is an ad that has been created by a digital marketer. All right. Now, there are two types of ads which are being created by a digital marketer. We have the free ad and the paid ad. When you go to social media platforms and you just design a flyer and you post that you're advertising your particular product, you have a particular product which you're advertising. Once you're able to design that flyer and you post it for people to see, that is what we call a free ad, all right? So on this page, we are going to be looking at both free ads and paid ads. Now, when you see a website where you're searching for something and you see this AD, AD, AD here, or AD here, note that everything that you see here are, are paid ads. So this company, samsung.com, has hired a digital marketer all right, to create an ad on Google search engine, to create a paid ad on Google search engine. So the digital marketer will create the ad and it's going to pay Google for Google to show this ad on their first page of the search engine. This is what we call a paid ad or what we call a Google ad. If I, if I want to, let's say I want to rent a car, Let's say I want to rent a car. When I type here, rent a car, what happens? I'm equally going to get companies, organizations that are doing what? They, they, that they, they have this particular service that they want to render to me. All right? Once these organizations have these services, they are going to contact a digital marketer and tell the digital marketer, I want you to advertise this particular product on the internet. All right? So as a digital marketer, when a client contacts you and says that he or she wants you to advertise a product on the internet, the first question you need to ask the client is, do you have a website? If the client says no, then you tell the client, we cannot advertise your product on Google because you need a website in order to do that. So the only option we have is to advertise your products on social media. So I'm simply saying that for you to be able to advertise your product on Google or any other search engine, you need to have a website. So a digital marketer needs to work with the website in order to advertise products on the Google search engine. So these are paid ads. This is a paid ad. This is a paid ad. This is a paid ad. And this is a paid ad. These are all paid ads. When I see the AD, AD, AD here, it therefore means these companies have paid Google so that Google can show their ads on their first page. Or they have hired a search a digital marketer to create these paid ads for them. All right. Just know that all the ads, when, when you see an ad like this with an AD beside, then it is 
or paid ads. Now, when I scroll down, when I scroll down, after four paid ads, all right, after four paid ads, you're going to have what we call free ads. If you look at this website, they're actually advertising the same product, but you can't see an AD here, an AD here, an AD here, all right? When there are no ads here, it therefore means that these are what they are free ads. So you are not paying Google for them to show this ad on your search engine. So you just hire a digital marketer and tell the digital marketer, "I want you to create free ads for my business." So this is what we call a free ad. All right. So with Google, Google has both paid ads and free ads. And as a digital marketer, you should be able to know how to create these paid ad and free ads. All right, so these are all ads. Now, when you see an ad like this without any image, without any um, price or whatever, just the website and a caption like this. For example, if I go to this side, you see, just a text and a caption like this. These are what we call um, search ads. In digital marketing, we call these search ads. All right, when you see ads like this, with just the text without any image or any price or whatever, these are what we call uh, search ads, all right? Now, if I go to the previous, right, where we type Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, if you look at this on the side, this is an ADS, which means these are what, ads. On this ad, you're able to see image, you're able to see the price of the product, you're able to see the name of the product and you're able to see what the company that is advertising this product. When you see an ad like this, this is known as a shopping ad, which means that if I click on this ad, it's going to take me directly to that product on the website. You see, it has taken us to that particular product on the website or the company that's advertising that product's website. All right. Once you click on it, it takes you to that particular page and you can place your order from there. All right, so this is only possible when you actually create an ad. All right, so this is a search ad. Let me annotate. So this is a search ad. Why these are what? Shopping ads. All right, so I hope this is understood. Now. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube itself, all right, YouTube is a product of Google. If you've never known that, know it today. YouTube is a product of Google. Google is the owner of this particular product known as YouTube, all right? Have you ever noticed when you go to YouTube and you try to type in, let's say, a movie? Let's just say I want to type in MacInger comedy. Let's say MacInger. All right, when you search a video on YouTube, have you ever noticed a situation where once you play that video, immediately you play that so video, I've got my essay written and I've been working. you notice that one video will just pop up in front of the video that you wanted to watch. All right, one video will just pop up in front of the video that you wanted to watch. Now, this is not what you wanted to watch, all right, but the video actually pops up. This video that always interrupts you when you're watching a video is known as what? They are known as YouTube ads or what we call video ads, all right? And you equally create this in Google. So as a digital marketing expert, you should be able to create these ads for clients. There are so many people who want their businesses to actually, to actually gain that exposure. Let me tell you one thing. Ads that have to do with images and videos create more interaction than normal text ads. That is just the truth. People interact more with video and images than normal texts. That is one thing you need to know if you want to become a digital marketing expert. Now, as this video is playing, I can only watch what I wanted to watch. Maybe after five or six seconds of this video, all right, then I can skip the video. I can only skip this video after five or six seconds that the video has played. So if I skip this video right now, then I'll be able to watch the video which I intended to watch, all right? So as a digital marketing expert, you should be able to create um, YouTube ads or what we call video ads. 
Any question so far? Any question? Any question as far as Google Ads is concerned? There are no questions. All right. Now let's move on to social media marketing. Now, social media marketing is another module, another digital marketing module. All right. So I'm just going to open my Facebook account. Let's go to facebook.com. All right. Now, this is a Facebook account. Have you ever noticed a situation whereby um, when you're watching, when you are on um, Facebook, you're going to notice that there are some text or images or videos that usually pop up on your screen, but you're not actually following that page on Facebook, or you're not actually friends with that page on Facebook. But at one moment, you notice that you are going to see, you're going to notice an ad which is popping up. All right. So on social media, you can actually advertise, you can actually create free ads and paid ads as well. Now, what are free ads as far as social media marketing is concerned? Free ads are those ads which you just create for people who are your friends or followers to see. So if I have 3,000 followers on my um, Facebook account or, or 3,000 friends, if I create an ad now and I just post, just know that only those 3,000 friends are eligible to, uh, to see the ad. And only those who come online will be able to see the ad. So if you have 3,000 friends and only 1,000 are online, then only 1,000 will be able to see an ad which you have created. So you have a limitation when it comes to creating free ads on social media marketing, which means that if you have, an, if you have a product which you want to advertise, let's say in the whole of Baminda, you cannot go with free ads because as far as free ads are concerned, only those who are your friends, all right, only those who are your friends on Facebook can be able to see that ad. Now, if you look at this critically, all right, you're going to notice that uh, there are some pages on my website that are creating advertisement that I am not following. All right, for example, this Virgin Mega Store, I am not actually following this page, but I'm able to see their ad. If I keep on going, if I keep on scrolling down my page, these are all free ads. All right. I am following this page, or this particular person is my friend on Facebook. That's the reason why I'm able to see all these ads, all right? If I keep scrolling down, I'm sure we are going to see another paid ad, all right? This is another paid ad. Now, how can I differentiate between a free ad and a paid ad? When I see an ad like this, all right? When you see an ad, this is the name of the page, and below that page, you're going to see the word sponsor. Once you see the word sponsor, just know that, it is a paid ad. This is a paid ad, all right? So with a paid ad, you're going to have the name of the page. You're going to have the, um, the word sponsored below that page. You're going to have the title, all right, or the text area. You're going to have the image. You're going to have the headline, and you're going to have the button. That is what makes a paid ad. But with a free ad, sometimes you will not even see a button. For example, this is a free ad. All right, there is no sponsor below. So definitely it's a free ad and there is no button here as well. All right, this is equally a free ad, no button. This is a free ad, no button. This is a free ad. Now this is a paid ad, all right? This is what we call a carousel ad. An ad which has multiple images which you can scroll, all right? When I click on this arrow, you see it scrolls, all right? So this is what we call a carousel ad. And each of these carousel ads have what? A button. So if you see this is a button here, contact us. If you see this is a button here, contact us. If you see this is a button here, contact us, contact us. So these are what we call carousel ads. How do I know that this is an app? We have the GoDaddy Arabia, this is the page. We have sponsored below, which means the paid ad. We have the text, we have the images, all right? We don't have only, we don't have a single image. These are images. Then we have the various buttons associated to the images. All right, so you see this is a free ad, no button. Free ad, no button, free ad, no button, free ad, no button. All right, so that is what differentiates paid ad on social media to what? To free ads. 
all right? And as a digital marketing expert, you should be able to create both the free ad and the paid ad. What I've just shown you here applies to other social media platforms. For example, if I go to LinkedIn, if I go to LinkedIn, All right, this is my LinkedIn account. All right, this is my LinkedIn account. Now, if I scroll down my LinkedIn account, you're going to notice that this is a free ad, all right? This is a free ad, how am I able to note, it, to note that? Because there is no um, sponsored here or promoted. So on LinkedIn, the word sponsored is replaced with what promoted, all right? So below you're going to see what promoted. And if I scroll down, no button, as you can see. But here we have what get smarter, and below we have what promoted. So this is a paid ad, and below that you're going to have learn more, which is the button. All right. If I continue screen, that this is a free ad, no button, free ad, no button, free ad, no button, free ads, free ads, free ads, free ads. I'm sure most of you must know. Um, Joyce Bed as free ads. Now, this is a paid ad, all right? Zenith watches promoted and a button. So that's what makes the difference between a free ad and a paid ad. Any question as far as social media marketing is concerned? All right. If there are no questions, let's go now to what we call SEO. Now, what is SEO? SEO is what we call is SEO simply means search engine optimization. That is the process of doing what creating free ads. Now, initially, when we were looking at um, when we were looking at Google Ads, we talked about the free ads and the paid ads. All right, and we did some searches here. This is rent a car. Now we had an AD here, AD here, AD here, and below there are no ADs. All these ads below here appears here thanks to what we call search engine optimization. And for you to be able to create this ad, you must become a search engine optimization specialist or an SEO expert, all right? So once you study digital marketing, you are going to know, they're going to teach you the various tools that you need in order to do what, to boost a website in such a way that it's going to appear on the first pages of Google. All right, so I've just shown you the practical aspect of digital marketing as far as Google Ads are concerned, as far as social media marketing is concerned, and as far as SEO are concerned. Now I'm going to open a slide where I'm going to now elaborate on these things, uh, all right, so that you're going to actually understand more better. Right. All right, so we're going to be talking about the advanced digital marketing program. All right, so with this program, all right, once you take this program, you are going to become an advanced, you're going to become a certified digital marketing expert. And you're going to get certifications from Google and from CPD, which is located in UK. All right. So these are my certifications. All right. So I have a certification from CPD itself. All right. And Tata Group Institute is an accredited institution to issue out certifications from CPD as well. This is my certification from UAE. All right. I'm a certified digital marketing expert from UAE. And I have seven different certifications from Google as a certified digital marketing expert. Data Group Institute is a license, it's a registered, um, it's a registered digital marketing institute here in the United Arab Emirates and equally certified by CPD, all right, which is located in the UAE. All right, so we've been talking about the various modules. These are the four major modules which we're going to look at throughout this course. We have the search engine marketing. We have the social media marketing, we have the search engine optimization and Google Ad, Google Analytics and Data Studio. So I've already elaborated on search engine marketing, 
have elaborated on social media marketing and SEO. Now let's look at what Google Ads and Data Studio is all about. Now, when you have been able to create all these ads, all right, once these ads has been created, you need to analyze to see what is happening behind the scenes. What is happening on my website? After creating this ad, what are the results? How do we get the results? It's thanks to Google Analytics that we're able to get the result. We're able to know the total number of persons that visit our website from Bamenda, Yaoundé, Douala, or maybe Ghana, uh, Rwanda, Kenya, US, all right? This particular tool helps us to get that particular data. We're able to do the number of males or females that were able to come to our website, do purchases. We're able to get that result as well. We're able to know the ages, all right? We're able to know those who, um, we're able to get information with respect to the ages of people who visit our website and did purchases. How many people were between the age of 30 and 40? That bought maybe iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro Max, all right? So that is just a job of Google Analytics. And Data Studio now presents this in a very beautiful way, in, in graph form, all right? In chart form, for example, pie chart, graph, um, we have pie chart, we have the histogram, we have uh, the donut chart, all right? So these are various ways in which you present your data after you've been able to analyze them very well. Now, these are the course content of the program. We have Google Ads, all right? I've just explained to you everything in summary, all right? So I'm not going to go into details again, all right? For Google Ads, this is what we are going to look at. We have Google Ads 1 and 2, which you're going to look at in the course. Then we probably have social media marketing. As far as social media marketing is concerned, we are going to learn how to create. Um, we are going to learn how to create social media campaigns with Facebook, Instagram, all right, LinkedIn, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, all right. So those are the social media platforms that we are going to really work with, all right, and see how we can create campaigns. Then we are equally going to learn about SEO. Um, search engine optimization. And with search engine optimization, it's divided into two. We have the SEO off page and the SEO on page, which we are equally going to elaborate on. Now, this program is going to last for three months. All right, it's going to be for three months and going to be three months intensive training program and it's going to be practical approach. So we are going to have real life scenarios which we are going to work with. We are going to have real life websites. We are going to feel real life experiences. We are going to see how um, ads are being done, all right? We are going to create campaigns and we are going to get results from campaigns and we're able to do what? To analyze them using Google Analytics and we are going to prepare data. We are going to prepare a chart which we can present to board of directors or present them to your clients at the end, all right? So those are the modules which we are going to look at. Now, throughout this course, you're going to get um, eBooks which are going to guide you, all right? So, for this one, WhatsApp marketing, I'm going to give it for free. So please, I always say I'm going to send these books for free, but at the end, sometimes I forget. So I'm going to instruct each and every one of you in this who is participating in this training, just go to the chat area right now, all right? Type in your email address. I'm going to send you the books instantly, all right? I'm going to send you this particular one. It's for free. I'm going to give you this one for free, but these other ones, you're going to get them as you move along with the course, all right? So you're going to get um, an ebook on email marketing, search engine optimization, social media marketing, Google Ads, and Google Web Analytics. So just go to the chat area while we continue with the training. I'm going to um, send the books to you. All right. So you're going to have these booklets to help guide you throughout the three month training session. Now, after this session, what are the career perspectives? All right. What do, you get, what do you tend to achieve as far as your career is concerned? Now, once you're done with this course, with this three months intensive training, all right, you are exposed to four different fields as far as digital marketing is concerned. The first is SEO specialist. Who is an SEO specialist? An SEO specialist is someone who can be able to build up a site, all right, is able to create those free ads for a company on Google. Remember when we were looking at Google Ads, we talked about the free ads and the paid ads. And we said for the paid ads, you're going to see an ADB site or an ADS, while the free ad use, you will not see that particular word, the site. So those free ads are being created by 
SEO specialist. All right, so you're going to become an SEO specialist. And for any company that needs an SEO specialist, specialist, trust me, you are going to be fit for that job. The next few which you're going to gain, or which you're going to uh, be fit to work in is what we call the PPC specialist. PPC simply means pay per click, all right? Pay per click has to do with Google Ads. Now, one thing I didn't mention when we're talking about Google Ads is that, as far as payment is concerned, how do these companies pay Google? They only pay Google when someone visits the ad, types the search term, sees the ad, and then clicks on the ad. So if I just come here and I type rent a car, and I don't click on any of this link, Google is not going to charge that client. Google is not going to charge this company, all right? But once I search it and I click here, immediately I click, then monetization takes place. Google is going to now charge them for that particular click. That is what we call pay per click or PPC. So as a digital marketer, you are going to be a specialist in this field. And one thing I need to make you understand is that PPC is, PPC carries 50% of digital marketing. Once you're a digital marketer and you understand, you understand Google Ads very well, then you're 50% gone as far as digital marketing is concerned. All right, the others now carry what? 50%. So that is what entails to become a PPC specialist. Then we have the social media manager, the social media expert or the social media specialist. All right, now, so many companies equally need social media managers or specialists. So with this field, you'll be able to create campaign on the various social media platforms. Some of the platforms which I've just mentioned to you, all right, Cameroon has not yet endorsed them. All right, they have not been given permitted. They have not been given permission to do what? To actually, um, they have not been given that access for those who are in Cameroon to create ads on that particular platforms. We are going to look at that when we get into the course proper. But it's very, very important for you to learn all because for example, if you move from your country, let's say you want to work in UAE as a digital marketer, you need to understand all these concepts because all the social media platforms are being used here. All the social media platforms are being used in the United States of America. Then we have what we call the digital strategists. For a digital strategist, you need to understand what we call Google Analytics and Google Data Studio. Now, as a strategist, your job is to look at what those who are uh, creating PPC ads or those who are creating Google ads, those who are creating social media marketing ads. You have to go and get all their data you analyze them and see what is happening. You will get the data from the PPC expert to know those who visited the website that are male, female, all right? You get data from the social media marketing expert to know those who have visited the website through what? Social media platforms. Then as a digital strategist, you're going to analyze and then you're going to now, you'll be the one to do what? To present that data to the board of directors. So you just go to the board of directors and say, this is the information I got from the PPC expert. And from this information, all right, from this information, those who are in Bamenda are not purchasing our products. They are not responding to our ads very well. Why those who are in Douala are responding positively to our ads. So in that light, let us focus more in Douala than Bamenda because um, people in Bamenda actually visit our ads, but they don't do purchase. Maybe it's due to the ongoing uh, crisis, all right? So those are the job, that, that is the job of a digital strategist. So you are able to get all the information. So you're able to know which particular page on a website has a problem, all right? If a particular product is not carrying out sales, if sales is not um, actually happening on a particular page, as a digital strategist, you're able to, you, are, you should be able to identify that form, you should be able to identify that page and try to um, call the attention of maybe the, the, the web developer or call the attention of the Google, uh, the PPC specialist for them to tell you why this is not happening, why this is this particular problem is, is occurring on the website. So those are the four major fields which you can actually get into as far as digital marketing is concerned. We are going to cover the complete course as far as digital marketing is concerned and bet you Wherever you go, once you understand the concepts very well, once you're able to follow the classes very well, you are going to become a very good digital marketing expert, all right? Now, so many people always ask me this question. I am from this field, I am from this field. Will I be able to 
get into this digital marketing and be successful? Can I be able to switch my career? Digital marketing is a field which is found in every organization, be it accounting, be it construction, all right, be it e-commerce, any business needs a digital marketing expert. So once you are able to get this course to become universal, you can work in any organization. You can work in a bank, you can work in a construction company, all right? You can work in a boutique, you can work in a small, any organization you are fit to work because all these companies actually need digital marketing experts. There are so many businesses out there right now in the less developed countries that they don't even know about digital marketing. All right, they need someone to orientate them. And that's what we are going to be doing in June when we are going to be graduating those who have successfully completed this course before that day. All right, we are going to invite so many companies. All right, they should send in their marketing staffs or the CEOs or the managers should be able to attend those trainings. All right, they should be able to see the necessity of incorporating digital marketing into their business because that's what businesses are doing right now. All right. And with the coming of digital marketing, trust me, so many companies have laid off workers. So many companies have laid off their workers. Because once you are a marketer, for example, once you are a marketer and you don't understand digital marketing, then trust me, in less than no time, you're going to lose your job. Because we don't, we don't because businesses these days now don't care about um, those who are in that particular environment, but they want to expand to other environments. And that can only be done with the help of a digital marketer. So please, if you are here, you are a marketer, just start thinking of doing what? Getting into digital marketing. Because once you don't do that, I tell you, you are going to face a lot of difficulties. All right? So what are you going to gain at the end of this course? At the end of this course, you're going to get two major certifications. You're going to get a certification from CPD in association with Agita Group Institute, and you're probably going to get a certification from Google. All right, and all exams are taken online, and it is a time-based exam. So, once you are done writing your exam, once they give you an, the exam, once the exam has been set, there is a time frame which you need to um, exhaust. After the time that has been given to you, after that time has been exhausted then that particular page which you are answering questions is going to close, all right? It's going to close and that will be end for the exams. So for the Google exams, uh, there are, for you to become an advanced, a Google certified digital marketing expert. Because once you're done with this course, once you have the CPD certification, you're already an advanced certified, you're already an advanced digital marketing expert. You're a certified digital marketing expert. But for Google, for you to be called a Google Certified Digital Marketing Expert, you need to take five exams. So Canada Group Institute will be providing you with a CPT certification and one Google certification. For the other four, if you want to take the remaining four, then you're going to alert us. We are going to set up all the exams at the same time, then you're going to write the exams. Now, as per the cost of this fee, of this course, all right, the fee of the course is 100,000 francs for the three months. And the payment is flexible. We have three installments, and for every installment, you need to ensure that you complete that installment before the month comes to an end. All right, for the three months which you're going to take the course, immediately you are completing with that month, you should be able to have completed your first installment, then your second installment, the next month, the third. Or if you can pay the fee completely, then good and fine. All right, so it is, um, we have 30, 35, 35. That's how you pay the fee. Now, for registration, before the date, so the next module begins on the 8th of March. Before that 8th of March, you need to pay a registration fee of 5,000 francs to ensure that, to let us know that you're actually going to take the course. But that 5,000 francs will be deducted from your fee, which means that if your fee is 100,000 and you paid 5,000 for registration, immediately the course begins and you're about to pay your first installment, then we are going to now, you're going to pay 25,000 instead of 30,000 for the first installment. Another thing you need to understand is that once you start taking this course, you are entitled to do or to continue continuously taking the course, which means that if you are done with the course and you want to still work, continue attending with the others, you are free to attend the class. So it is a lifetime training. You can always come back and attend the classes over and over again. All right. So it's not a situation where we are done with the class and then you go. When you're done with the class, then you go. No, you can continue doing what you can continuously do what take this particular program to when you think you are fully, you are fully understood the course, all right? Now, the next thing I want to 
make it clear is that once you are done with this course, for every student who is going to be done with the course in June, when we are actually um, issuing the certifications, because for the Google certifications, once you write the exam and you're done, you are going to get a certificate instantly in your mail. All right. And you need to do what? You need to validate this course by 80%. For Google exams, you need to validate by 80%. And once you're done with the exams, you're going to get your certification instantly. It means that as you're writing the exams, they are already marking. Once you are done, your certificate just lands into your email, the email which you're going to give us to register you with. It's going to land into your email instantly. For the CPD, it's going to take a little time for it to be completed, for, it to, for your certificate to come. And you need to, you need to uh, complete that uh, exam by 70%, all right? So a pass mark for CPD is 70%, while for Google is 80%. So for the CPD, which covers everything, because with Google exams, they mostly focus on what concerns them. Though you're going to have uh, issues of social media, but there are issues, those issues of social media are related to Google. All right, but for CPT, we cover everything. We cover everything in that exam. That's why you have 70% and 84 Google. Now, once you are done with this, once you are done with the exams, all right, we are going to ensure that we incorporate for those who wish to be incorporated in the Tadita Group Digital Marketing Agency, because we have an agency which we are running here in the United Arab Emirates. All right, so once you are willing, once you are done and we see that you are capable, you have been able to understand the concepts very well, and you wish to be part of the Data Group Digital Marketing Agency, which we are equally going to be launching in June in Yaoundé, then we are equally going to incorporate you in the Data Group Digital Marketing Agency. All right, which means when you are done, you won't only just sit down, but you're equally going to be working with clients that come to the Data Group Institute, and you're equally going to be getting paid for that particular service. So what happens with the Data Group Institute, the Data Group Digital Marketing Agency is that when the clients come, you take total control of the clients, all right? You need to handle the client very well and ensure that the client becomes satisfied with his job. Though, if there are difficulties that you have, you're going to table it, all right, to the Data Group Digital Marketing Agency community because we are going to have a community, we're going to have a forum where we interchange ideas and we have to handle clients who care. Though we are giving you a client to handle, but we are equally going to be monitoring what you are doing to ensure that everything is done properly. All right? So those are the things which I want each and every one of you to understand. And we are coming up very, very big. In June, it's going to be very, very massive. And I want to encourage each and every one of you, those of you who are participating here, make sure that you are part of that event. Because once we are, you are part of that event, and we have companies that have come to attend that event as well, you might be lucky to get a very, very good job from one of those companies once they see that you have actually gone through this course and you've actually understood what digital marketing is all about. So many companies have, so many companies need digital marketing experts. So many companies have contacted me. Most of my students now, they are still, some of them are still comp competing with the course, all right? Because I always advise you, before you are done, before you take any job as far as digital marketing is concerned, make sure that you really have your certifications at hand. That is going to give you more weight. So when it comes to maybe um, trying to negotiate your salary, just for the fact that you have a certification is going to give you an edge over another person. Any questions so far? Now we are giving you the room to ask questions. All right, if there are no questions, then I want to thank each and every one of you for participating in this training. I hope the training was helpful. You must have understood what digital marketing is all about. You must have understood what SEO is all about, social media marketing, Google Ads, all right? And you must have actually learned so many things which you do not know as far as digital marketing is concerned. All right, so thank you all for attending this session and see you all in the live training, which is going to begin on the 8th of January. Okay, uh, colleagues, I see your hand up. Do you have a question? Okay, good evening, once more. Good evening. Mm -hmm. I just have a worry here. Please, is there any 
specific background you need to uh, need to have made before you enroll in the digital marketing stuff or from any level you are free to enroll in the program Once when I'm talking, you have... maybe you need to... continue yes you were saying something Yes, I was asking maybe to clarify the question. That means, do you need some backup knowledge, some prerequisites before you enroll into the digital marketing or anyone from any level is uh, qualified to do that? Anyone from any level, so far as you understand how to use the computer system very well and you have a PC, you are free to attend the session. You are qualified to attend a digital marketing training program. Have I answered your question? Okay, thank you so much. Yes. Any other question, please? Please, if you have a question, please ask a question. Any other question? All right, please just go to the chat area. For those of you who have participated, just go to the chat area, type in your email address. I'm going to I'm going to forward you um, the ebook which I'm talking about, so you'll be able to maybe go through. If you have any business, that book should be able to help you understand. Um, to be able, it's going to help you to market your product on um, WhatsApp. All right, please before you leave, make sure you forward in your email address. I have that of Collins. I have that of Allen. I have that of um, Yunusa. Okay. I have that of Sidic, right? I have that of Ngune. Okay. All right. So I have, if you've not indicated, please just indicate because I've taken that off Collins, Allen, Yunusa, um, Sidic, and Ngune. I think that should be all. All right, so I'm just going to forward that to you guys. All right. So please, if you have any question, while I, I try to send the books, please make sure you forward, um, ask your questions. So I'm hoping to see each and every one of you for this um, training program that begins on the 8th of March. And I'm equally hoping to see you all in June because it's really going to be uh, one of a kind in Cameroon. It's going to be one of a kind because we are really going to create sensitization and so many companies are really going to be represented in that event, all right? So I'm going to call the names again. We have um, Alain. We have them Beke, we have Yunusa, we have Sidik, we have Ngune. Those are the names I have. I hope that is all. Ngune, Sidik, Yunusa. I've not added Alen. Let me see, Alen. Do I have Alen? All right, I have Sen.
All right, thank you guys for attending this session. All right, you're going to get a recorded session at the end of this. All right, thank you all and see you all in the various uh, forums which you all belong. Thank you and bye-bye for now. <laughs>